Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rahim. Today's my lecture is about characteristics of control system. Homeostatic mechanism in the body is responsible for maintaining the normalcy of various body systems. All of homeostatic control mechanism have certain common characteristics which is explained as regulatory mechanism. Whenever there is any change in behavioral pattern of any system, the effectors bring back the normalcy either by inhibiting and reversing the change or by supporting and accelerating the change depending upon the requirement of this situation. This is achieved by means of feedback signals. Feedback is a process in which some portion of the output signal of a system is fed that means passed back to the input. This is done more often intentionally in order to control the behavioral pattern of the system. Whenever any changes occur, system receives and reacts to two types of feedback. These are at first negative feedback mechanism. Secondly, positive feedback mechanism. At first, negative feedback mechanism. The most control system of our body act by negative feedback mechanism. It may define if some factor becomes excessive or deficient, a control system initiate negative feedback, which consists a series of changes that return the factors towards the certain mean value, thus maintaining homeostasis. As an example, high concentration of carbon dioxide in extracellular fluid increase pulmonary ventilation and expire greater amount of carbon dioxide from our body, which in turn decrease extracellular fluid carbon dioxide concentration. Conversely, carbon dioxide concentration that falls too low result in feedback to increase the concentration. These effects are negative with respect to initiating stimulus. This is the figure where carbon dioxide concentration are in homeostasis. Another example is in arterial pressure regulation in case of high blood pressure causes a series of reactions that promote lower blood pressure or a lower blood pressure causes a series of reactions that promote an elevated blood pressure. In both instances, these effects are negative with respect to the initiating stimulus. In this figure, when elevated or lower blood pressure, how they return to the normal. This is another example of negative feedback mechanism here the secretion of thyroxine and here the maintenance of water balance. Significance of negative feedback mechanism is maintaining the homeostasis. Here, gain is important topics. Gain is of a control system means the degree of effectiveness with which a control system maintains a constant condition is determined by gain of a negative feedback. How gain calculate? Gain is equal correction divided by error. Higher the gain, more efficient is the system. How I calculate the gain? When we measure the blood pressure of a person and found that 100 mm of mercury, this is about normal blood pressure. If some disturbance occur, their blood pressure increase 175 mm of mercury. Here, baroreceptor mechanism try to decrease the blood pressure towards the normal. It's about 125 millimeter of mercury. So there is correction by balance mechanism is minus 50 millimeter of mercury. But here still occur error, which is 25 millimeter of mercury. So gain is minus 50 divided by 25. That is minus 2. Here the gain is minus 2. Okay. Control system is not 100% effective in preventing these changes. That is, a disturbness that increases or decreases the arterial pressure does so only one third as much as would occur. 
if this control system were not present then positive feedback mechanism it may define as if the initiating stimulus causes more of the same is called positive feedback mechanism its significance is accelerate the completion of a physiological process the examples of a positive feedback mechanism are blood clotting childbirth generation of nerve signal ls surge milk ejection reflex micturition defecation release of calcium from sr sexual arousal etc at first blood clotting when a blood vessel is ruptured a clot begins to form and multiple enzyme that is called clotting factor are activated within the clot some of this enzyme act on other inactivated enzyme of immediately adjacent blood thus causing more blood clotting this process continue until the hole in vessel is plugged and bleeding no longer occurs on occasion this causes formations of unwanted clot which initiate most acute heart attacks caused by a clot beginning on inside surface of atherosclerotic plug in a coronary artery and then growing until artery is blocked here it is the figure of coagulation of the blood this is a positive feedback mechanism secondly childbirth when uterine contraction occurs due to oxytocin become strong enough for baby's head to begin pushing through cervix stressing of cervix send signal through uterine muscle back to body of uterus causing even more powerful contractions thus uterine contraction stresses the cervix and cervical stresses causes stronger contraction when this process become powerful enough baby is born this is the flow chart of onset of labor that means parturition this is the figure thirdly generation of nerve signals stimulation of membrane of nerve fiber causes slight leakage of sodium ion through sodium channel in nerve to the fibers interior sodium entering the fiber then changes membrane potential which in turn causes more opening of the channel and more changes of potential still more opening of channel and so forth thus a slight leak becomes an explosion of sodium entering the interior of the nerve fiber which create nerve action potential which in turn causes electrical current to flow along both outside and inside of fiber and initiates additional action potential this process continue again and again until the nerve signal goes all the way to the end of the fiber here generation of membrane depolarization then ls surge sex hormone normally inhibit gonadotropin secretion by negative feedback mechanism but one or two days before ovulation high estrogen level actually increases the level of luteinizing hormone and follicular stimulating hormone which are essential for ovulation in each case in which positive feedback is useful is part of an overall negative feedback process in case of blood clotting the positive feedback clotting process is a negative feedback process for the maintenance of normal blood volume also the positive feedback that causes nerve signals allow the nerves to participate in thousands of negative feedback nervous control systems thank you for your patience hearing